how to create folders in the content browser and set their color with C++ in Unreal, because who doesn't want a bunch of rainbow folders in their projects? So let's get to it. So as usual, here we have a new header file, except the three functions we're going to create today. But before we jump in the function, I'm just going to say it again. These functions are just going to work in the editor because we're going to create folders in the content browser. So obviously these functions are not going to work in a package game because the content browser doesn't actually exist in a package game. So these functions are just going to work in the editor and yeah. That's about it. Okay, let's jump in the function. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And the first function is to create folders. So first function, create folders. We just have to provide the path of the folder we're going to create. And the function is going to create it for you. Super simple. The path of the folder should start by slash game because that's the root of your project. So make sure that the path starts with slash game and you should be able to create your folder. So that was for the first function. Then we have the function to delete a folder. That one is as simple as the first one. So delete folder, you have to provide the path of the folder you want to delete and the function is just going to delete it for you. Super simple. The last function that we have, that one is the most interesting one. That one is going to let you set the color of your folder. So set folder color, you provide once again the path of the folder you want to modify the color of and also the color you want to assign to that folder. And that function is simply going to assign the color to the folder. Here we go. So that's it for the header file. Now let's jump in the CPP. And here we're going to start with the includes as usual. And today we need two includes. We need the file manager.h and asset view utils.h. File manager to create the folders and asset view utils to modify their color. Those includes are inside two modules, so core and asset tools. And we have to make sure that we have both those modules inside the build.cs file. So let's go check in mine. I have my core module right here and I have my asset tool down there. So perfect. I I have both modules inside my build.cs file. If you don't, you just have to add them and it should work properly. Perfect. Let's jump back in the CPP and take a look at the first function. So to create a folder, that one is the most complicated one because we have to first validate that the folder path makes sense and that you'll be able to create a folder with that name. And the way I'm doing that is by simply calling the try convert long package name to file name function. That's a long name, but inside F package name, you have access to that function. So try convert long package name to file name, that function is simply going to convert the folder path that we receive as input to an absolute folder path. And at the same time, it's going to validate and make sure that the conversion is possible and that it's inside your project and you should be able to create a folder with that path. So try convert long package name to file name and that's going to take the folder path as input and output the absolute folder path inside this little variable right here. If that function failed, I'm not going to be able to create a folder with that name. So here I'm just going to return right away telling my user that it didn't work. Usually that happens when your folder path is not inside your project. So if the path doesn't start with slash game, this function here is not going to be able to convert it. So it's going to fail and you won't be able to create a folder with that name, obviously. So that's going to make sure that the folder path we receive as input is valid, it's going to output it in this little variable right there. And then we're going to use that variable to create a folder. The way I'm creating my folder is by going through the file manager. So I file manager dot dot get, that's going to give you the file manager. And then inside there, you have access to the make directory function. The make directory function is going to take an absolute path. So that's the path we have right here. And then it's going to take a little boolean afterwards. This boolean is going to tell the function if you want to create the whole directory tree or not. So for example, if you're missing five folders in your hierarchy between the first folder that currently exists and the one you want to create. If this boolean is true, it's going to create all five folders. If it's false, it's just going to fail creating the last folder because it's not going to try to create all the folders that are in between. This function is going to create the folder for you. It's possible that it failed. So in those cases, I'm just going to return that it was a fail and I was not able to create my folder. And the main reasons for that will be if you have weird invalid characters in your folder path, or maybe the path is too long. But in most cases, you should be able to create your folder and that's it. Uh, we created the folder and now we can say that it was a success. Perfect. So now let's take a look at the second function, how to delete those folders. Now that we know how to create them, it might be useful to know how to also delete them. So to delete folders, it's actually super straightforward. You just have to take the folder path you receive as input and call a function inside the asset view utils with it. In asset view utils, you have access to the delete folders function. That function is simply going to delete the list of folder you're giving it. In my case, I just have one 
one folder path, but I'm still going to provide an array because that's what we need to give to the function. So that's why I have little brackets right here. I'm providing a list of paths that contains only one path. That's my path right here. So the asset view utils is going to delete my folder. It's going to try. If it fails, I'm going to say that it failed. But if it succeeded, I'm going to say that it succeeded. And that's it. Actually, we deleted the folder. Um, the reason why it might fail is if the folder contains files that are currently used by a process, so either by Unreal or something else, in those cases, you won't be able to delete the folder until you stop using those files. Uh, but in most cases, you should be able to delete the folder, no problem. And finally, we have the last function, the set folder color. And that one is by far the simplest one. You can simply ask the asset view utils to set the path color, providing it the path of the folder you want to change the color of and the color. And that's it. The asset view utils is going to change the color of your folder and that's done. The reason why it always works, it's simply because even if the folder doesn't exist, the asset view utils is saving the color value somewhere else. It's not saved directly inside the folder, which means that if you create a folder with that name, if it didn't exist before, it's automatically going to apply the last color you assigned to that folder, which means that it's impossible to fail. It's always going to assign the color to the folder either now or whenever the folder is created. Perfect. So we're done with the code. Now let's Let's jump in Unreal. Here we are in Unreal and today we don't need a scene because we're simply going to play around in the content browser and we're going to do that using a little user interface as usual that I have right here. First I have a combo box that lets me decide what's the name of the folder I'm going to create because I have a few options it's just going to be simpler with a combo box. Then I have three spin boxes to decide the RG and B value of the folder so when I'm going to assign a color to my folder I'm going to use the RG and B value that's already written in those spin boxes and then we have three buttons, one to create the folder, one to set the color of the folder, and finally one last one to delete the folder that we created. And if we go take a look at the graph, we can see that it's super straightforward. When we click on the button create folder, we're going to call create folder, providing the path that comes from the combo box. Same thing for the delete. We click on delete, we call delete folder and provide the path of the combo box. And finally, when we set the color, we call the function set folder color, provide the same path once again and the RG and B value coming from the spin boxes that I'm converting to a color to be able to feed it to the function. Here we go. Now let's take a look if it works. So I'm going to run my editor utility widget right here and I'm going to try to create a folder. Here we go. We can see that I now have a folder. Yes, that's awesome. I can delete it. Yes, I can. I can create, delete, create, delete, create, delete. Here we go. It works perfectly. I can also change the color of my folder. So I have my folder right here. We can see that it has the default color. And now I'm going to try to set its color to, let's say, green or maybe this color right here or maybe that one. Oh, I can set any type of color that I want. Here we go. So now I have a nice little yellow folder. Can I? Okay, green. Here we go. A yellow folder. It's not the prettiest yellow, but I, here we go. I prefer that green. Okay, so I have a green folder. What happens if I delete the folder? It's deleted again. That's good. If I create it again, it still has that green color because we've set the color and it keeps the color even if we delete and recreate the folder. Now, if I try to do the opposite, I'm going to select the second folder in my little combo box right here and I'm going to try to set the color first. So I'm going to change the color to, let's say, something like that. I don't know what it is. We'll see when we create the folder. I'm going to create the folder afterwards. Here we go. Now I have a purple folder. Hey, it's pretty nice. I can still change the color after the folder is created, obviously. So I can change it a few times and make it anything I want. I can delete it, create, delete, create. And that's about it, actually. I can also create my last folder right here. It has the default color. And that's about it, actually. Now you know how to create the folders and set their colors in the content browser. So that's going to be it for today's video. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.